Hey crafty friends, Emily with you today and I'm going to be showing you how to use some wax here. I have some honeybee wax with the honeybee um, wax melting furnace and the spoon. I have a little wax on there so I'm going to show you how to clean it up and then I have these wax seals here. I have the handmade one and a bird one and a bunny one. So I'm going to be using those today. So here are my wax I'm using. I have all kinds of different colors which I love and then you just start by grabbing a tea light. So you just need a tea light and you light it up which is very exciting. <laughs> And let's get started. You're going to place your wax melting furnace over your tea light and then place your spoon on top of the wax melting furnace. So then here I'm just grabbing, I have a lot of paper towel that's a little bit damp to wipe off the excess there. So here I'm starting with a handmade envelope and I have three beads. I love using the different colors but you can of course pick out three of the same colored beads. And it just melts down and then I like to use a toothpick to mix up the beads. So here I'm just putting it down I'm directly in the center trying to keep it in one spot and then I place the wax seal on top of it and let it sit. Once it's complete it'll be able to come off easily and nothing will stick to your seal which is nice. So here's that beautiful wax. It looks great and then I have some excess, I just have some parchment paper here that I'm putting my excess wax down on and you can either use that later, later to remelt or I'm going to show you another fun thing you can do with it. So just wiping off my spoon um, but let's make this sparkle a little more. So here I have some stuff from Stampery. I have some Stampery of beeswax and I'm just dabbing my finger in there um, and then I also have this really beautiful beautiful metallic pigment from Stamperia um, called Martian Copper. So here's this really beautiful, almost penny-like color, um, and I'm just rubbing that on. I'm going to add a little bit more. Whoop, I went a little heavy-handed there, but that looks awesome, doesn't it? So look at how shiny, and then you can really read those words. So that's a really fun way to do that, and that's really all there is to it. So let's just keep going. So I made this cute little dot here, and I feel like you could make it into enamel dots, but I just wanted to show you if you wanted to make wax seals and save them for later. So here I'm just making one on the parchment paper, placing the wax seal down on it, and then putting my excess um, beads to the side there, my excess, well, excess wax. Um, and then I'm going to do the same process with the Stamperia. You can put the beeswax down first on your image, and then that'll make it show up a little bit easier, a little more control. So there's our bunny. How cute is that? So Honeybee also has these really great um, wax seal stickers. So you can place them on the back, and then the adhesive will come, the backing, I'm sorry, will come off, and there's a little adhesive there, so you can save them for later. So here I wanted to show you a fun idea you could do for a card. Um, so I have these sprigs that I just die cut out from one of my just like many flower die cuts I have and I have again three wax beads and I decided to use two yellow one green to go with this pretty green theme I have going on here. So I really wanted to show how wax seals aren't just for the outside of envelopes, but you can definitely use them as decor for cards. I really love this idea to use them with like leaves or um, even flowers. So I have this really pretty bird one I want to use here because the bird's sitting on a little sprig just like we have here and I'm gluing down my sprigs here um, to the paper just to make sure they don't move. So again, I'm just pouring my wax down and I'm trying to be as good as in the center as I can, but you can see like my wax, my wax melts are not perfect circles, but I'm okay with that. And then I'm putting the excess on the parchment paper and look at that pretty reveal, but we can't really see the bird too well. So let's do the same thing here with our pretty stardust we have. And here we go. I'm just layering that on and there's that pretty bird. It's so beautiful. Look at that. It adds such a pretty shimmer. Um, you can put your sentiment down below or up top. And here I just want to show you, let's just put some little enamel dots on our card using our wax. How cool is this? Have you ever done this before? Look at that. And now you have matching enamel dots and then you can use these also to put on your card and glue them down later if you want. So here I'm going to show you another fun technique. Um, this is a super fun technique if you have some pattern paper that is double-sided and you want to see both sides. So I'm just grabbing a pencil and rolling up one corner of my paper. And then I am getting some cherry tape adhesive and I am going to glue, like, glue that down first. So you want to make sure everything is secure before you put your wax seal down. It really does, it's very secure. Um, with my handmade envelopes I make for cards, I've sent these in the mail and they're extremely secure. Um, it doesn't move, but just for the benefit of it not being so hard with this card making, these card making techniques, you want to make sure you have them adhe um, adhered down first. 
So here again, I have my three beads. I'm doing three different colors and just taking my toothpick and mixing it. And you don't have to mix if you're doing different colors. You can test out, you know, different ways that you like doing it. And then just placing my wax seal on there and then putting my excess dots down on the parchment like I've been doing this whole time to create more enamel dots. How fun is that? Or you could just remelt the wax later. So this is super pretty and then of course that same process with the wax and the pigment shine. How fun is this? Look at this. Oh, so cool. So here is, I'm just doing the excess wax again on here. I just want to show you just these little itty bitty dots. And if you don't like any of these, you can always just remelt them down. Um, that's the best part about the wax. It's very easy to reuse. Um, it's versatile. You can do a lot of different things with this. So I do want to show you how I'm going to take this one and glue it down so you know you can save it for later. I just want to show you just put some glue down on your card and then put it on like you would a regular like sequin or something like that. And there you go. I got a little excess glue there. But, but yeah, and then you have all these cute little dots. How fun is that? And look at all these fun card techniques you can use, and of course for the envelopes. Those are some fun ways to use your wax, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.